on it before. I never used it before, but I heard about it. But I went on there the other night. It was kind of wild. So was Clubhouse. At 2 something in the morning, I was having difficulty sleeping because, baby, I had a hell of a week. Oh, this week was turned. Child, between Aiden, between Aiden and other stuff, this week was turned. So I ended up being up through due to my insomnia and went on Clubhouse at like 2 something in the morning. And don't you know, people was up there talking. Follow, make sure you follow me on Clubhouse. I think I'm, it's I am Tanisha Thomas. Or might be Tanisha D.A. Diva. I don't know. It's one of it, child. My memory. My memory shot. I'm thinking about that story. Because that motherfucker. You know. <laughs> it's great. It's, it's interesting to me how years can pass. Or time can pass. And we still be ready to cut a motherfucker over some shit they did a, a while back. Maybe it's the Virgo in me, sis. I don't know. Yeah, but I done got catfished a few times, honey. These men out here was playing a dirty, dirty game. Child. Mm, mm, mm. I got stories for y'all. I had went out one time on a blind date with a Nigerian. Baby. I have never... Now, I'm a loud person. I'm naturally loud, especially when I get excited when I'm lit. This man, listen, this man, okay? He, every convert, first of all, the phone would not stop ringing. I don't know if he was scamming on the side. I don't know if he was a dope boy. I'm not sure what was going on. I just know from the moment we made contact. His phone did not stop going off. And not only did his phone not stop going off, but his tone. So we were literally sitting in a restaurant. I'm excited because it seemed like he got money. He flipping cars. I'm like, bet. Oh, we lit. He got the pointy shoes on. Pants is tight. You know, they regular tie-in shit. Shit is tight. He jiggy. So I'm like, oh, we lit, lit. Bet. Oh, this is what I like. Tired of asking for a motherfucker for 3000 and he don't got it. Fuck you mean you don't got it. So I was I was hyped. So, anywho. Baby, that phone would stop, would stop ringing. And every time the phone ring, it... Hello? Uh, you done say? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Your inside voice, B. Whoa. Your inside voice. Every time. Uh, okay, baby. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Kill it. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I just spoke to you. Everybody looking. Why everybody got to be in the conversation? God. Mad loud. Just loud, sis. Just fucking loud. Like, he can't. I have to ask. I said, can you hear are you able to hear properly? Are you hearing clearly? Have you got that check? Because. <sighs> and then, you know, with the Nigerian men, they got a bag of bitches. That's just what it is. They do. That's just it just come with that. You got to know that. <laughs> I know all the tricks. Sis. I done grew up around all this shit. These are my, I done seen this shit with my eyes since I was a little kid. Ain't no pulling the wool over my eyes. I already know this. I know you got a bitch before you got a bitch. I said, I know you got a bitch before she's even your bitch on the side. Because I already peeped it. He was so fucking loud, sis. And the lies for me. It was the lies. One thing, though. He ran money. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I, look, <laughs> one thing, one thing with the Nigerian men or the African men in general, no, they'll take care of you if they got it. Mm hmm. You're gonna go through headaches, sis. Mucho, mucho ladies. I'm not even gonna hold. They just, they can't even help it. I don't know if because the pee pee big and they wanna share. I'm not sure what it is. But, they they got they like a gang of bitches. And they like all kinds of bitches. They like their own. They like West Indian. They like American. They like a bunch of them. Trust me. 
I know. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Girl, I got stories. I, well, we ain't gonna go in there tonight. I, re, I gotta go. Okay. All right, I'm calling you now. I see it. I see it. I see it. It's 1030. I know. I promise. Listen, we got a lot to talk about. Allegedly, some shit went down last night with us. Uh, Camille <laughs> and Tommy. I, listen, they came under the post asking me who did I have my money on. And the fact of the matter is nobody. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I am a Virgo. Okay. What that mean is, <laughs> we are uh, we be knowing from the get go. So, once this was announced, how it was announced, I already knew it was gonna be issues. So I was waiting for it to go left. And baby, I didn't think it was gonna go left, go left this quick. I didn't think it was gonna go left this fast. Hey, Cody, I see you in the comments. Well, are they still fighting? Because I don't know what's going on. I haven't heard. I don't know what is that. Some A lot of you sent me the live. I didn't watch it. <clears throat> but a lot of you sent me. Hold on. Wait a minute. Child. We're going to come. Remind me to come back to that story. I got to tell you something real quick. Because I got to go. But I got to tell you the story. I said I got to tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what happened. I made contact back with some of my family in the South. And girl, they turned up. They shout out to them. They in Atlanta. They waiting. They they hoping I'm moving down there. They turned my aunts. They crazy as fuck. Now I kind of see why the family kind of like, you know, I literally just made baby steps, just made contact, feeling good. You know, feeling good, feeling like, okay, we connected. Not even 24 hours later, people texting me, she gave my number out, sis. Oh, I gave so-and-so your number. I hope you don't mind. They call, call. I'm like, okay, she texted me this now. Now she ringing down my phone. This is my aunt. I'm like, Lord, something must have happened. She calling me back to back to back. So now I call her up. I'm, back. I'm like, yeah, auntie, what's going on? I was with the baby. Yeah, I give auntie Judy your number, you know. Listen, call her because she home with the baby. She lonely. What? What? I'm busy. What is going on here? We just started talking. You. Then I hit her up. We have a nice conversation. It goes great. I keep it 1,000 with her. She keep it 1,000 with me. I love her. Y'all gonna meet her because she hella funny. She, You know those people who's funny without trying to be funny? Yeah, that's her. So I'm like, auntie, we're going to go out. When I come there, I'm coming to Atlanta. We're going to eat. We're going we gonna, to we gonna have a good time. Let's get cute. Let's get dressed up. It's been a minute. She's like, oh, I like that. And we have our wine and ting. I like that. I was like, yeah. Yeah, all that. Okay. Well, let's bring Keisha and Michelle. They coming too. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. That's my cousins. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Auntie. Auntie. I'm not working. What? Girl, so we just we just started this thing this week. I have, I kid you not, a hundred and twenty text messages. What? Just texting me randomly with the mo. I, it's prayer. It starts off with prayer in the morning. You know, it starts off with prayer. By, by the end of the day, she cursing out a co-worker to me. She telling me about Earl. Girl. <laughs> I just can't make it up. It's just my life is crazy. I gotta go. If she texted me now. Saying we need to talk. If, about some wild shit. But shout out to her. She a frontline worker. She in the hospital too out there. Nursing home. Same shit these days, right? She shout out to everybody in the nursing home. Shout out to everybody in the hospital. Everybody on the front line. Shout out to my aunts, yo. Shout out. My aunts are nuts. The other aunt, her sister, nah, she even crazier because she, she from New York. She bought that life. She got one child. She crazy than a motherfucker. Auntie Judy? 
Judith is the name, but we call her Auntie Judy. Auntie Judy, we stay away from Auntie Judy because Auntie Judy been wanted to smoke before smoke was a thing. <laughs> you hear what I say? She been wanted to smoke. She called me out of nowhere. She gave her my number. Girl, I can't. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. We're going to talk. I wish the best for Scamily. I hope it works out. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I I just, I seen the video. I just think she's so wild with it. I just don't even understand. There go Lumel in the back like Diddy. Lord. <laughs> I just want somebody to just tell her the truth. And that's why we don't get along, Scamily, because I tell you, you look like a damn fool. Calm down. If the shit fall through, it fall through. That's business. We know the deal. We does this. Child. I don't know what's... And Tommy from the street. You know, for real. Like, I know they casted her on that show. I don't know her. I met her once. She wasn't exactly pleasant when I met her, but that's a whole other story. Maybe it was a bad day. I had bad days, too. But I just wanted to remind you, she's from the street, sis. Like, there's a whole rap sheet. You could Google that, actually. Like, it's public record. And she's known to not really play games and give a fuck. Like, it's not just... I don't think it's a play thing for her. I think it's... See, that's what people fuck up at. Like, because, you know, the internet does that. You know, makes people think they could be, like, thugs behind this shit. But what people don't realize is some people will go out of their way to find you. Tommy got the means to do so. Sis, I would really relax here. <laughs> you know, I, I I just, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, I just think it's just like, it, child, I'm going to make me, I'm going to eat me this dinner because I can't. Just, I'm like, you know, in the West Indies, they have a saying, when something happened that we were appalled and we're shocked, we be like, uh-uh, just so? When I see her cursing and carrying on like that, and here go Lumel like Diddy in the back looking lost. Child, poor Lumel. Lumel don't even know. And Lumel, there's so much I want to say to you, sir. And this is probably, and don't take this the wrong way, but you know, you're a black man trying to make it out here with your business, and I respect that. Just be mindful of everybody you have attached to your business name. Not everybody's playing. Not all the beef is worth it. That's all I'm trying to say. You guys be blessed and have a good night. Scamily, don't message me. Don't come for me. This was not a read for you. This is me being honest, like you've always known me to be. I don't really got a problem with you no more unless you got a fucking problem with me. It's a new year and I'm trying to be a new bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for tuning in. It is 2021. <laughs> I was hoping <laughs> that the shen shenanigans would have subsided from last year, but it looked like 2021 came in and said, bitch, hold my purse. Bitch, hold my purse. Goodness, it's a mess and a shit show. By the way, before I get out of here, did you see those allegations with T.I.? And what is going... But more so, this this lady, um, the lady from the Glam thing, University, she just keep popping up. How, how do you take your own self for a lot of tech... Child, these people got time. And what are we supposed to do? Well, like, what is what is she saying? Because I'm so confused by the whole story. I know there was some story about a gun. Then there was some story about threesomes, foursomes. This, see, this why. See, see, see. This is why y'all need to keep y'all freakiness to yourselves. No, I'm being serious. You got to really, really you know, curb your urges because you think you having a good freaky time with people and then it goes left and all your nasty business and dirty laundry is on front street for everybody to judge. My goodness. By the way, which reminds me, speaking of dirty laundry, I have been following Jimmy Smacks since the drop since that whole tea broke out this week. You guys, I think the video wasn't real. 
I think he did it to break the internet. I don't know. That's what I think. I didn't, from what I could see, I think it was staged, but I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, he posted up with Jimmy Smack's adult film star. He posted up with this woman with two big watermelons as boobs on her chest, and he looked so shooketh. Yeah. The fact that, first of all, it is, let me just say this. Let me just say this. It is 2021. I'm not here to judge anybody. I feel like live your life, one, and live in your truth, two. But it is your obligation to disclose to partners what that truth is. People who are laying with you, in my opinion, have a right to know so that they can make a decision on whether or not they want to be with you. Me personally, I would like to know if you're into me or if you're into everybody. Because I need you to be into, you know, just one way. No shade, no disrespect. This is my preference the way that you have yours. The fact that I've seen so many women in the comments after that news came out trying to get with them still. Baby, we got a big problem. not saying he once again that he can't be with women that's his choice and once again if he goes after them you already know what it is and you've heard the news by then but the fact that they they are thirsty as fuck in the comment section i am i am shocked and shook it goodness what is going on <sighs> anyway that's my two cents, y'all. I'm going to head on out. I got to go. We will talk later. Y'all have a blessed night. And what you say? A NDA? A non-disclosure? No, 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 no. There's no such thing as a non-disclosure when you're exchanging bodily fluids. That person has a right to know who you laying with. Stop playing. See, I'm not playing with people. You, you, you know, I'm not playing with people. First of all, I, I take all that stuff very seriously. You got to get tested with me out the gate. I'm not playing. Ain't no oops, I didn't know, because I'm shooting you. Period. You fucking give me some shit I didn't come in here with, you didn't meet me with. I don't play that shit. You have got to be up front with people and let them make the decision for themselves and not make the decision for them. And that's why a lot of people are mad. You can be who you are authentically and stand in your truth. If you like both, that's your business. I don't give a fuck. You're not sleeping in my bed. But if you plan on coming after me and you want to have relations with moi, then you need to disclose. Period. And that's just the adult thing to do. It's not being nasty. No, fuck a NDA. There's no NDA. Why y'all saying NDA in the comments? There is no NDA when it comes to that. NDA, if you're going to possibly engage with a threesome with someone else or whatever and bring in a third party in depending on who you are, yeah. But even then, yo, it's not worth it to me. I, I, yo, it's just not worth it. The fact is, people are strange. They don't make people like they used to. And you literally don't have to do nothing to a motherfucker. Some motherfucker just come visit you and see how you live it and hate your guts. You think you about to have a good time with you and Bay, and this motherfucker have you up because your house looks nice and your house looks kept. And they got beef with you. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Y'all were good, 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 good. On Friday, Monday, they throwing subs about you online out of nowhere. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, this is the sad truth about the world we're living in. This is what people are doing. Okay? Who's recording you without your knowledge? Who's, who's backstabbing you, who's subbing you in general, who's talking about you with this person. It's just terrible. So my advice to you is not to live, not to halt your life, but really know and research who you're bringing in across the board. Whether that's a babysitter, like I'm trying to look for a nanny, 
an extra girlfriend, an extra boyfriend, extra friend, friend, whatever it is, do your research and make sure that it's not going to come back to bite you in the ass. Ladies and gentlemen, life is stressful as hell and life, life is stressful enough. Don't do it to yourself.